Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Excuse me, my mobile phone's been very slow and sometimes loses calls, so I'm interested in a new one. I'd be happy to help you find a new phone. Have you seen the latest smartphones we have on display? We have a few models at excellent prices. I saw those, but I read on your company website that you have some phones for sale at half price. We do have several select phones available at half price. However, they're very basic phones. Smartphones like these, on the other hand, have features like web browsing and road navigation that you wouldn't get from a basic mobile phone. Here, let me show you how they work. Number 44. What problem does the man mention? Number 45. What did the man read online? Number 46. What will the woman do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Are you sure you're going the right way to the conference center? It's taking longer than I expected, and I'm worried we're not going to get there on time. I thought this was the right way, but now I'm not sure. I did have driving directions that came with the conference materials. Too bad I forgot to bring them with me. I say we'd better stop and find somebody who can help us out. I see a store up ahead. Maybe someone there can tell us which way to go. Number 47. What is the man concerned about? Number 48. What did the woman forget to do? Number 49. What does the man suggest? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello. May I speak to Min Jae Park? It's about the renovations to Comet Bank. He's the architect, right? Yes, but may I ask who's calling? This is Cheryl Reed, the project manager for the Comet Bank renovations. I'm missing the drawings with the measurements for the main entrance, and I'm ordering the doors today. Okay, I'll put you through to Mr. Park. Please hold. Thanks. Hello, Ms. Reed. Hello, Mr. Park. Could you possibly get me another blueprint? I can't find the drawings for the front entrance. Certainly, Ms. Reed. It'll take some time to print the plan, though. If you come by my office around 3 o'clock, I'll have it ready for you by then. Number 50. Who is Mr. Park? Number 51. What problem does Ms. Reed mention? Number 52. What does Mr. Park ask Ms. Reed to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hello. I saw a flyer about your research project on diet and nutrition. Are you still looking for participants for that study? Yes, we still need about 10 more participants. But in order to take part in the study, you'll have to run, swim, or cycle for at least two hours each week. Is that okay? Yes, but I don't have time to participate during the day because I work until 6 p.m. Is that a problem? No, that'd be fine. There are only a few appointments we'd need to schedule. Why don't I email you a copy of the consent form? It has a description of the study. Number 53. What is the purpose of the man's telephone call? Number 54. 
What does the woman say is required? Number 55. What does the woman offer to send the man? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Peter. This is Tanya Bryant. You helped me find an apartment last year. I was wondering if your agency could help me find a new one in the same neighborhood. Oh, hi, Tanya. I'd be happy to help. You're currently in the Mount Eldon area, aren't you? Yes, and I really like it. But I've recently set up my own business, designing jewellery and selling it online, so I'd like to find a two-bedroom apartment. I need to have another room to use as an office. I have several apartments I could show you. How's your afternoon? Number 56. Why is the woman calling the man? Number 57. What does the woman say she has done recently? Number 58. Why does the man say, How's your afternoon? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Amanda. Do you have a few minutes to discuss the feedback I received on the training seminar I presented to the new engineers last week? Sure. I heard that the comments were generally very positive. The new hires said your explanations were very clear. Yes. However, they did mention that it was a lot of information to absorb in a short time. I was thinking that the next time I do this, I'd give them a break halfway through the seminar. What do you think? That's a good idea. And maybe you could also set aside a half hour at the end so you'll have more time to answer all of the trainees' questions. Number 59. What has the man recently done? Number 60. What positive feedback does the woman mention? Number 61. What change does the woman recommend? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. We've chosen an advertising firm to promote the new Colossus tractor we're making. Several of the firm's representatives will be visiting next week, and I've planned for you to give them a tour of the assembly line on Tuesday. Is that okay? Well, I'm having some of our production equipment serviced right now, so they wouldn't be able to see the assembly line in full operation. The next day, Wednesday, would be better for the tour. Okay, the advertising reps are planning to leave Wednesday evening, but I think we should be able to squeeze in a tour during the morning. I'll give them a call right now to make sure this time change is okay. Number 62. What is scheduled for Tuesday? Number 63. Why does the man suggest another day? Number 64. What will the woman probably do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and chart. Hi, Lydia. This is Oliver, your editor at European Travels magazine. Is now a good time to chat? Sure, I have a minute. Great. Would you be able to increase the word count for your Exploring Sicily article to 2,000 words? OK. There's plenty to cover on the topic, but I have another article due that same day. 
Aha, I see that on your assignment chart. Let's extend the deadline for your other assignment by a week. That way you can focus on Sicily. Thanks, I appreciate it. By the way, I've been compiling some ideas for pieces to write this summer. I'll send them to you later today for feedback. Number 65. What does the man ask the woman to do? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which article's deadline will be changed? Number 67. What does the woman say she will send the man? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and graphic. Customer service, Mark speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Mark. I bought a chair from your store, and I was about to assemble it, but I don't think I have all of the parts I need. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what you're missing? Well, I have all the long bolts for the legs, but none of the other bolts for the seat. Okay. I have some replacement parts here at the store, and I can have the delivery driver drop them off at your house this afternoon. How does that sound? That'd be great. Thanks. Number 68. Where does the man most likely work? Number 69. Look at the graphic. What is the woman missing? Number 70. What does the man offer to do?